don't tell the rules. Okay, let's start again. So today's piece I found on Facebook Marketplace. It is just your regular old uh, buffet. What's this thing called? Scraper. That's what it's called. Uh, I'm going to use my scraper and scrape back the uh, top coat that's on it and then we're going to get in there and do some sanding. That's what we're going to do today. Let's begin. I've been stripping the top of it and it is it's it's slow going <laughs> I have uh, manually used that scraper to strip stuff um, before but this is a lot larger of a piece so it's taking a minute or two as you can see it's coming along grooves are it's going to be really hard to, well you can't there's no possible way I can get my scraper in there and or my um, sander my orbital sander it's gonna take me a month of Sundays to keep doing that so what I've decided I'm going to use one um, it's citrus strip it's a uh, it's not as bad as some out there uh, so, I am going to paint it on, let it sit for about 30 minutes, scrape it back off, and see okay. how we go. Let me talk about this piece for a minute, because I haven't touched it in a long, long time. Um, so, last time, I vaguely remember, <laughs> well, no, I remember, I used stripper on it to get some of the top coat to, to get some of the colour and the top coat off and it did work um, but my experience of stripper is I really hate it I really really don't like it it's sticky it's chemicals it's hard to clean up it gets in everything you have to make sure you clean your piece afterwards because you can't paint if you leave any stripper on there you can't paint nightmarish I don't think I'll do that again but you watch I bet I use stripper again anyway so because I do have a vision for what I want it to look like and I think it's gonna look beautiful I'm gonna chalk paint in a gray and then I'm going to stain the top in special walnut which I love and then I'll probably seal it in satin and I may seal it, in, seal this in satin as well, just because it's a console table and it'll be in a high traffic area and people will probably bump into it. Top really well. I'm going to sand what I can on the body of it, and uh, I was even thinking I saw on Instagram, and I'll insert a photo of it here of um, somebody I follow on Instagram. On the inside of the doors, they wallpapered it, wallpapered the inside of the doors, and I have some really pretty wallpaper, so I think I'm going to do that to give it a little, you know, oomph. So I'm going to get to that, get stuck into that. All right, here we go. washed my hair this morning. Now it's probably all full of sawdust. But anyway, the price you pay. Right, broken out, but it's done. 
It's done, you guys. It's sanded. It's lovely. It's on its way. Oh, my camera is covered in dust, like everything else in this room. But, anyway, it is sanded. I am not sad that's over. So, the plan now to wipe this, I gotta wipe it down with TSP. Oh, I just tipped it on my foot. Maybe I should just do that. It's gross. That's it, sawdust. It's fine. Plan stand is to, once it dries, then I'm gonna wipe it again with a tack cloth, and then we'll start with um, Called primer. That's what it's called. Primer. Here we go. <laughs> Dust up my nose. Oh. oh. Alright. Had to change to give bins a go. A lot of the ladies that I watch use it um, and recommend it. So I'm giving that a go because. I don't know if you can see um, right here you can see the bleed through and right there okay uh, mm, eh, that's how I feel about the bins that you can see the orange stripe so it's through showing through I have a solution to that I'm just gonna paint not do it in the paint that I was gonna originally do it in but a darker grey. So that's my solution. So a darker colour. Right, so anvil grey in the is it Kryla? Is that what it is? I was gonna use the Rustolian aged grey chalk paint, but I'm going to do it in the anvil and see how that goes and if that doesn't work I may just set fire to it all and start on a different piece so there yeah, that's how I feel about this piece all right I already started I tested a piece I think it's gonna cover up the bit through like I hoped it would but it's this I've never used this Krylon paint before so it's gonna take a few coats second coat and the third third coat and I'm really super happy with it I have because it's chalk paint gone with the distressed look with my sandpaper I've like you know sanded the corners and I'm gonna stain the top oh that's right so let me catch you up I have sanded done a finished sanding so I've sanded right close to the edge which gives it a nice um, crisp edge and then I'm going to stain it with special walnut Ooh. and see I love the paint now I've embraced it I'm really happy with it oh. hello hello Tammy yeah <laughs> okay so my um, battery died on my camera vinegar stinks <laughs> but it's the best way to get the grime and the tarnish and all that sort of stuff off of your hardware. I've just finished boiling it and so I'm just letting it sit in there for a little bit till it
cool sound. Alright, and then you just basically scrub away. I love the color underneath. Oh, it looks good. Can you see it? Look at that difference though, right? Whoop. Over here, dirty. Over here, clean. Dirty, clean. And then I'm going to attach the paper with Gorilla Spray Adhesive. It is wallpaper, um, but that Gorilla, um, Gorilla Spray Adhesive is really good and should, in theory, make it stick. So, I'm going with, yes, it's going to work. So. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna eyeball it, line it up, and place it down. I trimmed the other one, but off camera, but I thought I would show you guys how I trim it on camera now. Yeah. So this is from my dad. This is my prized possession. My little box cutter knife um, he gave me before I left Australia. So I'm going in at an angle like that just so it's a nice, I'm not going to go straight down like that to cut it. I want to go in at an angle cutting and just using the wood as a as my straight line right perfect and I just do that all the way around why did I just do that that was too soon going in at an angle nice and slow hugging the wood painted it, when I painted it, when you painted it, <laughs> when I painted it, has now like blocked the, um, the top, so I'm going to have to plane it. Okay, so, and of course, planing it means uh, I will have to
years. So that was the piece. Uh, it gave me so much grief and trouble along the way and I was very happy to be done with it, let's be real. I liked the chalk paint, I didn't love it, but I liked it in the end and it has turned out really lovely. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a like and a subscribe and a share and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>